Hello, we're here to talk about the Health Heroes for Child Care program, a partnership between the Alameda County Emergency Child Care Response Team and Samuel Merritt University School of Nursing. Hello, I'm Michelle Rutherford and I'm with First Five Alameda and I'm here with Katarina Yabin, who is an SMU um, student nurse who was one of our health heroes. And we're gonna interview her today about the Alameda County Emergency Response Team's partnership with Samuel Merritt University for our Health Heroes Health Consultation and Child Care Program. So Kat, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and about the site that you were matched with for your rotation? Yeah, so hello, my name is Katarina Yabit, and you call me Kat. I am a nursing student at Samuel Merritt University. I'm in the entry level Master of, nurse, of Science in Nursing program for a family nurse practitioner. I worked with um, Adventures in Learning, which is a daycare center over in the Dublin area. And they have, there are five classroom preschool with about um, eight to 10 students per classroom, ranging from the ages of two to six. Um, so that's where I did my assignment. So um, in the Health Heroes program, typically students um, are matched in pairs to sites and go out to the site um, for three to five weeks, um, maybe two to three days a week. Um, it's a little different from each cohort. We're now on our sixth cohort. We're headed to our seventh cohort. Um, but in your instance, Kat, we have a number of programs that are interested in remote support a little um, feeling cautious about having another adult on site. Um, and so you were one of those um, student nurses who was matched with the remote site. And uh, so you had sort of a, a different kind of consultation experience there. So can you tell us more about that and how you approached um, your partnership with uh, Adventures in Learning and some of the things that you did there? Absolutely. So at our school, um, our faculty for the course for pediatrics, they gave us a list or provided us with a daycare center or a facility with a contact person for that facility. So what I first did was I reached out to the program director of Adventures in Learning. Um, I sent her an email and I, you know, left a voicemail and she promptly called me back saying, yes, we would like to have someone um, virtually provide us with some guidance on our drop-off and pickup method here at the facility um, just to make sure it's the most, you know, safest way to do it to limit the spread of COVID-19 and um, so forth. And then I also asked, you know, if, if there's any other additional teaching points for health promotion that I could provide. And with young children, she mentioned that the importance of hand washing and how to do it was important, along with uh, how germs are spread. So we discussed on maybe potentially having me hold like a live kind of Zoom session, like most classes are doing now to, you know, explain to the children or the students at the facility, this is the importance of hand washing, how to do it and how germs are spread. But we also came to the conclusion that maybe we should have a video explaining it. So we developed a long standing video that could be used um, multiple times for their facility and even for the Alameda County Public Health Department. We love your video, Kat, and um, we're going to, for the folks listening to this, we've attached a link to the video so that you can use it yourself if you need to. Um, so Kat, thank you so much for sharing your experience and for the work that you that have done through Health Heroes and for your commitment to healthcare and keeping kids healthy. Could, could you just share for any site, family child care provider, center who's debating whether they should participate in Health Heroes, what would be your advice to them? I would recommend that you have us as students participate with you all. It is a chance for you guys to, you know, continue with the learning first for children and yourselves and to protect your facilities from the spread of COVID-19 as a way for us to, you know, relay the messages of, you know, this is what the CDC is recommending and what the Alameda County Public Health Department is recommending to make sure that children are safe and 
you are safe too at your facility. This will allow us and you all to continue that need for learning for young children to implement that these are good habits to make. Not only are we teaching them, you know, their ABCs, how to write and so forth, but also just to make sure that they stay healthy and are aware of the things they need to do. And there's so much for them to be mindful of right now. And I know we just had recent new guidance come out on screening. And so having you all as health partners out there to support um, the sites is, it can be really beneficial for them to stay on top of those changing, to be focused on the health part and, and then support them in that. So thank you, Kat, and uh, good luck in your studies. Thank you.